Today's predator fish battle series is including the snakehead and a pack of piranhas. Who do you think will win? All right, guys, this is the biggest battle of them all, the most competition, the snakehead versus a pack of piranhas. Who do, who do you think would win, Avery? She has no idea. This is a tough one, guys. Uh, a bunch of you have asked me about this one. Uh, one snakehead versus a pack of piranhas. Uh, this, I'm going to have to go with the pack of piranhas on this one. Uh, Let's flip the cam. I got some cool footage of some snakeheads and a video of my piranhas. So I'll babble while you can watch the fish. All right, so after doing tons of messaging on Facebook, I found a cool guy to send me some videos of his snakeheads. He has a breeding pair here, and these things are pretty beast. Uh, it'd be one thing to have one snakehead, but to have a breeding pair would be pretty insane. And he does have videos of fry. I mean, what do you do with like an invasive species like this? Uh, it's this is he is a he is not in the United States, so this is a whole thing none of us really have a lot of experience with. Like, how do you get rid of snakehead fry? I think here in the United States, uh, it's a if you come across a snakehead, it is illegal for you not to kill it. So uh, it's these things have an incredible bite. It's, it's a tough choice here, guys, the snakehead or the piranhas. These are my piranhas. Um, I threw some light on them here. Uh, super timid fish, but as you know, the piranha has tons of power in a large school. And these things can make... I can drop a goldfish in this tank, and they will make it disappear in probably around 30 seconds. So uh, let me know what you guys who you guys think would win. I guess um, the variable... I asked one of my buddies this and he said, well, how many piranhas? You know, you said uh, just a pack of piranhas. That's a big, a big fact. So maybe let's say uh, 30 piranhas versus snakehead or no, 20 piranhas. How about that? Make it more interesting. Uh, these piranhas, I think are around six to seven inches. I need to get them in a... Sorry, I cut the video off a little bit. Uh, the little one's freaking out. She's teething. Uh... I am definitely going to go with the piranhas here. I have decided, and I think the snakehead is probably, probably, I just said probably twice. The snakehead is the most predator fish people are keeping in tanks. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, the wolf fish, you know, is the meanest fish. But a lot of people aren't keeping those in tanks. So, uh, and literally the uh, yesterday, this series got me motivated to... Um, I, I direct messaged a couple local fish store owners to see if they could get me get my hands on a snakehead. I said, what will it take? And all of them turned me down. Jeez, you're just freaking out. Literally, just gnawing on my finger, dude. Uh, all the local fish store owners turned me down. Oh, it's a, it's a federal fence to keep one. But I know people are keeping these fish in the United States, so how are they getting them? Like... They're already invasive in the United States, and I can't keep one in an aquarium. I mean, I am, I, I know the repercussions of letting it go in the wild, and I'm not going to do that. Um, anyways, the fish store owners all said it's not going to happen. You won't be able to. Jeez, Louise! Oh, you wanted to be on the camera? You wanted to be on the camera? Dude, she's flipping out like. This, this parenthood thing is crazy for me. <laughs> the wife is grocery shopping. I'm babysitting. All right, guys. Um, if you have ideas how a player can get his hands on a snakehead in the U.S., I mean, do I have to go catch one down south? It's not even warm enough here in Minnesota to keep a snakehead. So, all right, let me know. I'm uh, shutting this one out.